to St. Matthew 10 and 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace but a sword. Start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the brothers out there doing this work in truth and sincerity and in faith. Okay? The reason I brought that scripture out because contrary to popular belief, you know, everybody's thinking that the Lord is coming back to send peace, you know, because there's a big misconception about um, the Lord, you know, the one the world ignorantly calls uh, Jesus Christ, okay, whose Hebrew name, whose name is Yahweh Shah, okay, he deliverer, he's the deliverer of his people, Israel, okay, not the whole world, contrary to popular belief again, but uh, the focus is, you know, like I brought out the scripture in St. Matthew 10 and 34, think not that I've come to send, that I've come to send peace on earth, I've come not to send peace but a sword, okay, because the Lord is coming back to, to uh, pour out vengeance, man, for all the wickedness that's taking place upon the face of the earth, okay, and I'm going to get a couple of more scriptures to uh, back that up. Because, you know, everybody thinks that the Lord is just this all-loving individual. The Lord is all love, you know. Uh, matter of fact, hang uh, This is Luke. St. Luke 19. And I'm going to get straight to the point. Um... Uh, Matter of fact, uh, I'm going to just read. I'm going to go through it kind of quick. This is St. Uh, Luke 19 and uh, uh, 11. St. Luke 19 and 11, it says, And as they heard these things, he added and spake a parable because <clears throat> he was nigh to Jerusalem and because they thought that the kingdom of Yahweh should immediately appear. He said, therefore, a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come, which is what we're supposed to be doing occupying in this word until the Lord returns okay verse 14 it says but his citizens hated him and sent a message after him saying we will not have this man to reign over us and it came to pass that when he was returned having received the kingdom then he commanded these servants to be called unto him to whom he had given the money that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. Then came the first saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained ten pounds. Verse 17, he said unto them, unto him, so like it, well, thy good servant, because thou hast been faithful in a very, in a very little, have thou authority over ten cities. And the second came saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained five pounds. And he said, Likewise to him, be thou also over five cities. And another came, saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound, which I have kept laid up in a napkin. You know, so the servant didn't do nothing with it. He just received the, it's like, just the example. You received his word, you understand it, and then you just sit on it. You hide in your talents. You're not doing what's commanded to you to go out into the highways and the hedges, man, and bid them to the marriage, man. You know, go out there and cast out this spiritual net to to catch the elect, man, to 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 wake up the elect 
so we can get out of here, man. Okay? And that's a cut to uh, all you cats that be, you know, taking off time during the winter because it's finna get colder. You know, we in winter time, whatnot. And shit, just going downtown Houston, I can say I don't see no other camps out there, man. Now, during the summertime, it be popping. You know, like Jake say, it be popping, man. You know, because the weather is fair. You know, it's, it's favorable conditions. Okay? But anyway, this servant didn't do nothing with the talent. He didn't, he just got it, set on it. He ain't gained no interest. You know, you want your money to do something. You want it to gain. Hell, the Lord could have just kept the pound or just kept the 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 the, the money himself. If that's the case, okay? I'm going to go back to the story real quick. Um, Luke 19 and 19, and he said, Likewise to him, be thou over five cities. <clears throat> Verse 20, And another came, saying, Lord, behold, he is thy pound, which I have kept laid up in a napkin. Verse 21, for I feared thee because thou art an austere man. An austere man, man. You know, you look that word up, that means a, a, a strict, stern, playing no games, man. Okay? There yeah, ain't no love and sunshine type person who they got this, the world, the world has our Lord painted out to be, okay? Y'all waiting on sweet Jesus. We waiting on Yahweh Shah, man. Sweet Jesus ain't coming back. Or oh, ain't coming, rather. But when the Lord come, he's coming to wreck shop, man. I just read it in St. Matthew 10 and 34. I'm going to get a couple of more scriptures. Okay? But, um, for I fear thee, verse 21, Luke 19, 21, for I fear thee because thou art an austere man. Thou takest up that thou layest not down, and reapest that thou didst not sow. And he said unto him, Out of thine own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thou knewest that I was an austere man, taking up that I laid not down, and reaping that I did not sow. Wherefore then gavest, thou, gavest not thou my money into the bank, that at my coming, I might have required mine own with usury. And he said unto them that stood by, Take from him the pound, and give it to him that had ten pounds. And he said unto him, Lord, he had ten pounds. For I say unto you, that unto every one which hath shall be given. Salakia. For I say unto you, that unto you, Unto every one which had shall be given, and from him that had not even that he had shall be taken away from him. But those mine enemies, which were not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. He didn't even say bring them here. I'm going to put them to death. Y'all going to put him to death so I can sit here and do it before me, man. Off with their heads, okay? That don't sound like somebody that's coming to bring a good time, man. That's somebody that, that's coming back with no games, man. Okay? I'm going to jump to Isaiah. Uh, you know what? Read. Isaiah 11, chapter first. And I'm going to jump to 63. This is Isaiah 11, and I'm going to start at 1. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. Um, Jesse, David, Solomon, which we know uh, King Solomon was Yahweh Shai. Okay. If you can receive it. Alright, because you got to say that. Because Jake's simple as hell. You know. And this is only for the elect. 
shit. You can believe it's like Ripley's. You believe it or not, we we here at Great Millstone don't give two shits. Okay. Um. Uh, I'll just start back at the top. Isaiah eleven and one, and there shall come forth uh, a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. And the spirit of Yahweh shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of Yahweh, and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of Yahweh, and he shall and he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears, but with righteousness shall he judge the poor and reprove with an equity and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth, which is the elect, and he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. So if you're not on the right side, man, you getting you getting put to death by the one that you the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, whose name is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Alright. Um what else I had? Yeah, I'll bring out this. Isaiah 63. Just showing you how the Lord is gonna return, man. Nice and simple and plain. Ain't nothing deep. You can't get this. Boy, you. Like one of Mary's sheep. You lost, Jack. Um, Isaiah 63. Because I don't go into the deep. Man, I'm, it, it's nice and simple over here, man. To where it can be understood. You know. I could go deep. Jake don't even know they Jake. That's why the apostles always say, man, keep it one deep, man. The milk, man. Damn. Jake want to be super Israel. Isaiah 63 and 1. Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I did speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel? Now who's the savior? Yahweh Shai. Yeah, that's what his name means. He savior. He deliverer. It says, uh, Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel? And thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat. You know, if you tread in the wine press, and you crushing grapes, you're going to get them grape stains on your whatever it is that you have on. The red, you know, what, is that, what does that look like? It look like blood, man. It says, wherefore art thou red in thine apparel, you know, and thy garments, like him that treaded in the wine fat, look like you've been stomping grapes, man. Because his garment is going to be covered with blood. We just read that he coming back to to lay the wicked to to to, to rest. He gonna off with their heads, man. All right. It says, verse three. I have trodden the wine press alone, and and of the people there was none with me, for I will tread them in mine anger. Oh look, if the Lord is coming back with all this peace, what's this talking about? His anger, righteous indignation, man. There's a such thing, contrary to popular belief. For I will tread them in mine anger and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment. For the day of vengeance is in mine heart, and the year of my redeemed is come. That's what we waiting on, man. Alright, so with that, I hope brothers was edified, okay? All praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone.
and peace and blessings to the brothers that's doing his work in truth, sincerity, and faith, man. Till the next time, Shalom.